you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8. We ended the last episode with finding out that Captain Barbaros has been attacked and that someone named Nemo has uh, basically it's somewhere on the island and he is a serial killer. What we know is is that it was a man probably um, that that did this and I would say yeah that's pretty likely that it was a man narrowing down our list of people that if they're in Castaway Village and this isn't like somebody outside we're left with basically um Dogi who I can say pretty much can is not Dogi um because Dogi has been like Adol's friend and you know that's unlikely we can we can nix Captain Barbaros because Captain Barbaros got attacked and I don't find it very likely that it's him. Which, uh, we can eliminate the people that were in my party. We can, so that basically eliminates Saheed and, uh, Hummel and we can eliminate the guy that we just recruited, um, Licked because, I mean, he was with he was like basically run away from us. He was so, he was on the other side of the swamp, so it can't be him. Um, we can eliminate <clears throat> Raya, the little kid, because it's the little kid, and that leaves us with Car Crash, who seems highly unlikely because I feel like that guy's like absolutely worthless. But who knows? It could be him, and this could be a ploy. Um. It could be this Roman officer right here. Like, maybe he's like a, you know, serial murderer who, like, is like an officer and thusly is really good at covering his tracks. Or it's Kiergaard the doctor. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know, it could be him. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't darken the screen on me. <laughs> it's because I haven't moved the control around. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I would say there's your your three options, which is Kiergaard, this guy, uh, Euron, or Euron, or, or uh, uh, Car Crash, and that's if they're in Castaway Village. That voice! Almighty God, please protect him. Damn it, what's going on? Leave this to me and go check outside and be careful. Okay. What was that voice? Did the nameless orber really tell me it's not true? I wonder if something has happened. Did someone besides Captain Barbaros? that sound come from? I'll take the beach. You take the hill. The voice we heard earlier sounded somewhat close. Why don't we leave this to Euron and search the areas nearby? Okay, so it wants us to go up here. like the wound on Captain Barbarossa's leg. Then... Gah! What if that nameless ripper's still lurking nearby? We must tend to Sir Carlin's wound before we do anything else. Come with me, Mr. Kristen. We'll get him some help. Despite his injuries, Captain Barbaros got the castaways together and explained the situation. There, Sir Carlin admitted that he could not identify Nameless, as he too only saw him from behind. With so few clues, the castaways began to grow restless with worry, until finally...
I can't stand this any longer. If this murderer is among us, I demand that he reveal himself. The newest member of our fold certainly seems suspicious to me. Are you the murderer, boy? <laughs> no, I would never do such a thing. You will pay dearly for what you've done to my leg. Ow, 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 ow! Um... Feeling cure guard. Please try to remain still, Sir Carlin. There's no reason to suspect Lick. He's not a person of interest. What? That's right. Lick was with us when the captain was attacked. Thank you. <laughs> still, we can't just stand around and do nothing. Well, I refuse to spend another second trapped on this island with a murderer. Wait, didn't that muscle head build or a small boat or some such? Why not use it to sail off coast and hail a passing ship for help? Mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. What do you think, Captain? It's not the worst idea out there. It's got to be worth a try, right? The Isle of Sayrin is so feared by sailors that no ship would dare to venture into its coastal waters. We need to sail far out into the open sea to even have a chance at hailing a passing vessel. But to sail that far out on into the ocean on such a tiny boat. It's foolhardy is what it is. Oh. Do you have any better idea then? We'll never escape this island if you keep rejecting every proposed solution. Besides, Captain, it's your fault that the Lombardia sank in the first place. If anyone should venture out to see it sh to get help, it should be you. I beg your pardon. <laughs> now what's happening? More beasts? Well, whatever it was, it sounded very close. Like, did you look at the facial expression on Kiergaard? I don't like that. I'm getting suspicious now, guys. I'm sure of it. You think it might be the monster that attacks Sahad? Laxia Sahad, let's go. Joe! Yes. Uh, fine. What kind of island did we wash up on? Ah, uh, is it my fate to become a horrific beast snack? Don't worry, calm down. There are many reliable people here. If you can, I would like you to help me prepare some medicine. Ah, uh, you are a doctor? I'm glad. I feel a little relieved. I've given Sir Carlin something to numb the pain, so he's settled down, at least for the moment. Regardless, too much is happening at once to keep up with. But I have the utmost confidence that you'll see us through all of it, Adol. I'll do whatever I can to support you. Feel free to come with me with for any issues. I prayed with all my strength, and yet Sir Carlin was. I'm learning medical treatments from Dr. Kiergaard now. They're different than the methods taught at my church. From my perspective, his medicine is marvelous. Yeah. I'm suspicious of you, Kiergaard. And the fact that I think we've got two people here that may take over your spot. Um I'm not I'm not feeling not feeling too keen. What do you want to enhance? I can add a poison effect. All right, I got it. All finished. Yep. Let's do it. Oh God, grant us victory. Leave it to me. Said recommended level 29. What level am I? Look. That's the same beast that attacked me. Can't let it breach the barricade. Let's hold it off here, Mr. Kristen. We 
Where is it? They won't let them pass. <laughs> right this way. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Let's All go. right, let's start fixing it. One more to go. <laughs> I'm honored. Good, good. Everyone, just a little longer. Okay, here we go. Hey, hold on a second. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hey. I fixed it. I'm gonna finish it! Doggy Squad struggling! Doggy Squad struggling! Hit the target! Who won the offensive? Hey! Hey! Finish! Gotcha! Big one coming through! Bring it on! Caught all kinds of nice stuff. <laughs> Damn, he's putting us through the ringer. At this rate. This is looking real bad. Wait, look. Hey, Hummel. Fears Dogie's fists. Did we just get saved? Yeah. It seems we have. By the great fists of Dogie. The nameless ripper, and now this. What is wrong with this wretched island? What was that creature? I've heard about that creature before. I did not think it would appear so near to us. Of all the beasts Adel and I face, we've never seen anything quite like that before. Just brooming with all that ferocious raw power. 
I don't know how else to describe it. What the hell is that thing? What? Right now we need to work together. But... Very well then. Huh? You know something, Loxia? I think that creature... It's a dinosaur. He's almost certainly a primordial. Or a primordial. A primordial? Didn't we find some note at the watchtower that mentioned him? Long ago, before the human race came into existence, enormous creatures of unimaginable power ruled the Earth before going extinct. These creatures are known as primordials. Though diverse in form, their defining traits are their reptilian appearance and ferocious disposition. You baited our breaths for this nonsense? What makes you qualified to judge that creature as a product of some bygone era? I've heard of these primordials too. According to reports, fossils of these giant creatures have been found deep underground. Certain academic circles within the Roman Empire have recently begun more research into the matter. Hmm. Are you some kind of expert on these primordial beasts, Laxia? Yes. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but I'm well versed on the subject. <laughs> Finally, some good news! Huh? Since you know about them, you can help us figure out how to fight them off. Ain't that right, little lady? I don't know how much help I can truly provide at this time. The less we know about these creatures, the more we will fear them with each passing day. It would do wonders for morale to know we have someone who understands what we're up against. I hardly think I'm... Don't be so modest, right, all? I'm counting on you. <laughs> Very well, then. <sighs> Damn. First a serial killer, now primordials? That's too, too many things we gotta worry about right now. Don't come off it, will you? I'm too terrified by the nameless Ripper hiding in our midst to pay any mind to these so-called primordials. I wish I was anywhere else but this accursed island. Me too. I grow sicker and wearier each day I'm forced to breathe the same air as you riffraff. Jeez, what a pain in the ass that guy is. Hmm, the sun is beginning to set. Huddle, let's gather some volunteers and take turns keeping watch tonight. Please try to get some rest, everyone. Try not to wander off by yourselves. Make sure you're always with someone. Difficult to climb, actually. Thank you, Mr. Kristen. That was my first time climbing a rope ladder. I didn't think it would sway so much. Why did you come up here? What's wrong? Well, today was rather eventful. And I'm not as lackadaisical as Sahad, so unlike him, I'm having a difficult time falling asleep tonight. And I suppose I couldn't think of anything else to do at this hour, so... Here.
What is it? Did you make this? Is that... Yes, and you better thank me for it. I've never prepared this dish before, so I can't vouch for its flavor. This looks pretty tasty. <laughs> I'm lying. Really? I thought the end result would look more appetizing than this. It looks like there's like shells growing out of it. <laughs> it, it looks like a quiche with, with like shells growing out of it. Hmm. By the way, have you spoken to Hummel at all? I asked him where he went, but he said it would be unprofessional of him to tell me. What's his aim? I don't know. <laughs> Anything else on your mind? Sharp as a tack you are. This might take a while, but I suppose you're not going anywhere for the time being. My father taught me all about the primordials. He was an archaeological scholar, you see, who specialized in the study of primordials. As a child, I often visited his laboratory, and he would have me accompany him on his excavations. I loved and respected my father. He was my whole world. But the year I turned 16, my father grew so obsessed with his research that he abandoned his house and lands. In response, his people began rioting throughout the countryside. The rioting finally ceased when my brother assumed control of House Roswell. But the loyalty our house once commanded had already been lost. Soon after, the other noble houses successfully unseated my brother, which drove my mother ill. And just three months ago, House Roswell was forced to relinquish its titles and lands. And now, my family's future has never been more uncertain. My father taught me many things. But after everything that happened, I began to grow dissatisfied with all that had come to define me. And I felt as if I had no place where I truly belonged. So I ran away from home. I hesitated earlier today because... Because I never imagined my knowledge could actually prove useful. Though this is hardly the time to feel this way. I think... I finally found somewhere I belong. You should be proud of yourself. Well... Thank you. But... I know I cannot settle for just that. I think I'm the one who understands my father best. So I've made up my mind. If I manage to escape this place, I will search for my father. Only then will I find where I truly belong. I'm sure you'll find him. Yes. I hope so, but he did travel rather extensively. Oh, one more thing. I owe you an apology. Though my father was a noble, he was a rather carefree and welcoming man. Um, that is to say, as an adventurer, you remind me of him. You even resemble him somewhat. Which may be why my behavior has been so, um, unseemly. So, I'm sorry. Uh... Ah, so that's why. <laughs> yes. I couldn't explain myself properly when we first met because, well, you know what happened. 
I was forcing you to bear the brunt of my resentment toward my father. Now then, I'm going back to rest. Thank you for letting me confide in you. Um, good night, Adol. I mean, we're dealing with a lot of stuff right now, including a, a serial killer. This is a really odd place to have this heart-to-heart -heart. quiche. <laughs> Adol, Adol, please wake up, Adol. Oh, it's, it's her. Oh, you're finally awake? I'm sorry to disturb you while you're sleeping. Um, Toki asked me to come get you. What happened? Oh, well, looks like that stuffed shirt. Carlin vanished on us. What? Anyway, we should meet with the others. Good morning, Adol. Thank you for keeping watch last night. Have you found Sir Carlin? Not yet, unfortunately. However, Euron mentioned he saw Sir Carlin earlier this in the morning. He hasn't been gone for very long. Everyone in the village is helping us look for him right now. That's the main reason I asked for you. I need you to help us find him. Hmm. <clears throat> you think he might have up and left the village? It's possible, but we can't send you out looking for him without any leads. Search the village for any clues that could lead to his whereabouts. Plus, we gotta worry about Nameless. Everyone's still on edge after everything that happened yesterday. Please be extra careful. Okie dokie. So, do we need to talk to- let's talk to everyone real quick. May the light of salvation guide Sir Carlin back to us. God will surely protect him. He will return to us safely. Uh, I don't know. Even if you run away, this is still the safest place on the island. I think that's obvious. Wait a minute. You've been asking a lot of questions since last night. Did you figure something out? We're being by, targeted by the Nameless Ripper and the supposedly extinct Primordials. What are the odds? This doesn't make any sense. This must be the curse of the Isle of Sairin. Anyway, I'm glad that you're okay. The current state of affairs may impede you from resting, but try to sleep. Thank you very much, Captain. Um, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to help at all. There's no need to apologize. You can see my condition. It'd be nice if you could take over some chores and the role of messenger. Yes, I will. Please let me know what you need. Damn it! Our beloved nobleman just keeps making more trouble for us. Sorry, Adol. You'll have to deal... You'll have to see... La, 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 la. Sorry, Adol. You'll have to see to Sir Carlin. Dogi and I will watch out for Nameless. I'm not letting him run loose anymore. I mean, you're suspect number two. Just thinking that there's a murderer hiding in plain sight scares me. I'm not completely opposed to Sir Carlin's logic. So your face is really creepy. Sir Carlin? Hmm, I expect that his wounds will take some quiet time to heal. I hope he's getting some rest. See, now I'm just- I like, you're suspect number one, man. I couldn't sleep at all yesterday. The primordials are one thing, but knowing that there's a slasher around is something else. Hey, don't tell me that you're the slasher, Adol. Ah, uh, I'm so sick and tired of everyone accusing each other. Then why did you just accuse me? <laughs> At the end of the day, I believe in you, Adol. Now go and capture the culprit. You know, easier said than done. Kathleen's probably up here, yeah. I'm worried about the primordial that attacked us yesterday, not to mention Nameless. My weapons can't even damage that creature. I don't believe my blacksmithing is the issue here. I need a metal that's stronger than steel. The 
does that even exist here? Good morning. Carlin gone? I didn't see. It happens. Sometimes it happens. I'm wondering if the boat is over here. Well, well, well. <sighs> hmm, something's not right. The view, there's something different about it. Can't put my finger on it. Yeah, you- Oh my god, are you kidding me? A good place to fish. A rope bobs in the water. <laughs> Something wrong? No. Seattle. Wasn't well, there a boat moored here? Yeah, that's right. I knew it! Maybe that stuffed shirt Carlin took out to sea. Adol. There you are, Adol. Oh, there you go. Oh. You gotta come with me! We found Sir Carlin! Is he in a boat? I assume. Wow, he really did go out to sea. Can you see him at all? This is the hardest he's ever <laughs> worked in his entire life. Is he trying to escape on the island off the island on his own? I did say it was foolhardy. If he goes out any further, the water's gonna get too choppy for him. He'll capsize right away in a boat that small. So how are we supposed to chase him when he took our only boat? We don't. Oh? Well, what is it? He's not moving. I think the wind caught him. He's gonna have a real tough time rowing against that wind. We might be able to catch him if we start running along the shore. Let's go, Adol. Do we have to? Oh, I guess I do want the boat back. I'd go with you, but I've got to keep an eye out here for Nameless. I'll pass this along to Captain Barbaro, so go on without me. I guess I want that boat back. The ocean can keep car crash. Should we make our way south to pursue Sir Carlin? Let's check the map just to be sure. We should head up toward the southern tip of the coast where Adol washed ashore. Oh, I don't know if that was... I don't know who said that, actually. If we move now, we should catch up to Carlin. Somewhere around here. That's where we found Allison. Let's head there at once. Can I teleport? Someplace closer? On guard. Yes. No, it's not gonna let me. It wants me to walk this path. <laughs> I bet I can catch a lot. It's been yes. so long. Did I come from this way? I think so. <laughs> Okay, so he's over here somewhere. That's it's him, Sir Carlin. We've caught up. The nerve of this unseemly wind! I refuse to spend another second on that island, living among common riffraff. It falls upon me to ferry myself to freedom, to escape this infernal place once and for all. Good thing he got stuck. Ahoy! Sir Carlin, please! You must return to shore! No good. Doesn't look like he can hear us. 
Huh? Oh no. Hey, at all. You seeing what I'm seeing? What? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh. Rip car crash. You're gonna ruin that boat! What is the meaning of this? Shoo! Shoo, I say! Away with you! Oh man, if only it worked that way. Uh, what is that? That's the tentacle what sunk the Lombardia! Sure as there's salt in the sea! So that's what the captain was talking about. We can't just stand here gawping! We gotta help that stuffed shirt. How? Out. It's out in the middle of the ocean. Do you have a boat? No. Why have these creatures come to impede us? Here they come. Leave it to me. Switch. Ooh, managed to fight him off. What about Sir Carlin? Is he all right? I don't know. Do you think he's doing well with the tentacles in the ocean? Do you really think he's going to be okay with that? Shoo, shoo! Stay back, I say. <laughs> what manner of beast is this? The Kraken. I don't know. Yeah, right. I'm Sir Carlin, esteemed noble of the Roman Empire. Sir Carlin! Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Couldn't happen to a... a more terrible person. That monster might be a primordial really in prehistoric times the ocean was full of giant cephalopods but that's neither here nor there I mean, our ship is Dunzor's as well. It retreated. Where'd that stuffed shirt Carlin float off to? <sighs> Everyone kept a watchful eye for the enormous marine primordial while they searched for Sir Carlin. Every member of Castaway Village came to help and they continued searching until sunset. But it was to no avail. Sir Carlin... Sir Car Crash was nowhere to be found. Exhausted from their searching, Adol and the others returned to the village. I mean, we got we got other things to deal with. I'll say this much: we've narrowed it down to two people. <laughs> it's either Kiergard or um, Euron. And I don't think it's I don't think it's Yaron, so it's Kiergard. Or Carlin. Too bad you couldn't save him. No one expected a giant sea monster to suddenly appear. That must be the same creature that sank the Lombardia. Maybe that thing's what's been sinking all them ships around here over the years. Yes, I think it's safe to assume that creature is responsible. 
It probably has been guarding this region of the sea for hundreds of years. So if we don't deal with that thing, we're never getting out of here. Man, things just keep going from bad to worse on this island. Huh? What's this? A note next to where Kiergaard works all the time. Oh no. What is it? I think you should see this. Hmm. One pig down, Nemo. This is Nameless's calling card. When did he leave this? I get it now. Car crash was so scared that he stopped thinking straight and ended up getting killed. Getting himself killed. Which means Sir Car crash truly died by Nameless's hand. How awful. That stuff shirt was annoying, but he didn't deserve to die. It's pretty bold of Nameless to leave this note where any villager could have seen him. The sick bastard is clearly enjoying watching us squirm. He's already claimed one victim. If we don't act fast, I guarantee that body count will get higher. True, we can't lose anyone else. After all, if we lose anyone else, then we will have less people to move around the rubble that it's needed to progress! <laughs> we must confront Nameless. I'll need everyone's help. Now we're talking, but what exactly should we do? I need you to continue patrolling Castaway Village. As for you, Yoron, gathering information is crucial to any investigation. I'll ask around to see if anyone saw anything suspicious before or after the incident. We also need to preserve the crime scene. There might be some evidence we missed. We should investigate it again, just to be safe. Hmm, impressive. Euron, I want you and Adol heading this investigation. It's already late. Let's increase security tonight and begin investigation tomorrow morning. All right. Well. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But I think I need to end the episode right here. And we'll pick up right here in the next episode. <laughs> because, honestly, I did not think that this whole thing was going to take this long. But I'm guessing we've, we've got to be coming up and figuring out who's... Who's doing all of this in the in the next episode? Surely. Surely. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.